Hello and welcome, this is Gigi and this will be a mid-month tower reading for my Libras for the month of October 2018 and if you like to book a private reading with me you can book me, the easiest way would be on my Facebook page below uh, the video that's all the information and also I want you to know that before recording your reading I have meditated and asked Spirit for guidance and so let's see what spirit has to say for you, my Libras, for the month, mid-month, October 2018. Temperance. Strength. Justice. The world. Page of Rods, and the Three of Rods. Wow, 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 wow. Now you're very strong. People don't give you enough credit, my Libras. They don't give you enough credit. That's okay, you know what? On the other side is different. You get to struggle here, that we're meant to struggle. But, um, you are moving on big time. There's just something, I mean, here's just really, because the three, at the end, yes, we have a three of rods, which means that you're turning your back at something. Clearly, you're done. Um, things have been challenging. It, it's not sure why it, it has been ch challenging so much, because I don't see challenges. I think that maybe you feel you may some of you may be feeling underappreciated in some area of your life in some relationship of your life where you're seeking to balance yourself maybe you maybe you feel that you have given too much uh, sometimes we tend to feel that it may or may not be true though um, but you with the page of rods is like now it's just like you have this um big vision where you get to look for things that um you know where you could get meaning that the world is allowing you a different journey and that is a journey that you want like at this point in your life example if you have been having issues at work and you're like you want to stick it out well no you will not and especially if you decided on your own, your own prerogative to say, well, you know what, I always wanted to do this, whatever that is, applying for a different department, looking for a whole different uh, job, going back to school, whatever that project, you're ending something that you have been working on for a long time. And it could be in your relationship too. Maybe with the strength card, you, you felt, again, there's some amount this with the justice next to the strength card it's just like you feel like some of my libras it could be that you have been uh feeling some type of way um i would say since maybe you know for a while you have endured strength is about endurance for a while but now you're because you're so used to you know, compromise and trying to find a, you know, an, an agreement. But now you're just, there's something in your life that you're fed up. And something, I don't know what that is. It could be someone, it could be a group of people, it could be your family as an example where you're like, well, you know what? I feel like I need some distance. I need some distance between that and the other. I need distance between my career, my own personal life, that could be it. I need some distance in my own personal relationship. and that, This is just a general reading, uh, but it's a good thing. Listen, things are going your way. You're, you get what you want. You may not get the cooperation. Now, maybe more. I remember your ruler is going retrograde. This is a huge retrograde. Like, this is huge. Like, because right now, Venus, your ruler, is not happy. It's in Scorpio, and it's not that it's in detriment. I don't know the term for that, the astrological term, but it's the opposite. It's the opposite sign. 
of his natural place, which is Taurus. But also, even if it's as a Libra, it's in your second house, which is the house of Taurus. It's just, there's something about calculation in Vedic astrology when we say, like, you know, it's, it's you know, the second house, it's in the eighth house because the house of Scorpio, even if it's, even if it's the second house from you, it's still the eighth house. It still has this energy. So, you know, it's like an uncomfortable position for Venus. So you may feel a certain way right now. Um, I mean, careful with your decision. Um, even if you think you're, I'm not, I don't think you're moving fast necessarily. The page of rods is still like you're receiving like messages download from the universe into where exactly you know uh, or you're following your intuition closely or you're just keeping yourself more connected to nature and but whatever that is i feel that ultimately um the decision should be taken like next month definitely not this month especially for you i mean uh this is also it's also control money you know Venus control money for you. So work and money. So work and money could change, but I would even say that like location could change. There, there's some change that you're going to start doing now, which means like before the end of the year. And by 2019, it will be more clear to everybody else. At this point, it's just clear what you're leaving behind or, or what you're distancing yourself with. That is clear. And then the other option, you'll figure that out. Uh, you are much more with the strength card. I mean, if you have been feeling um, sick or under the weather, or if you have been going through some type of, you know, the irregularities in terms of your health, know that this will be going, it will get better. It could be also that if you have been going through something, not it, because sometimes you, you could have some issues, health issues, it could take some time to be diagnosed. If there's something that, you're not, um, you know, you're, uh, you're not sure of in terms of your health. Now it's time to go check that. It says that you'll get the clarity that you need. And it'll be clear to you. So, you know, just care for yourself. Apply that care for yourself, which is really what you should be doing, putting that energy into yourself. And uh, one thing is I could say is I feel that next month in November, like, however your perception of things because i feel like you may see things a certain way and it may not be true it may it, you could have an incorrect vision okay so you could see maybe you feel not happy about a relationship or maybe you're at work or whatever you maybe you some some type of services social services to a community and you, you don't feel like well there's some type of impression or like emotion like um feeling that I feel that is not really that you're like you're being maybe too emotional it's not not some not that you are normally even if you're ruled by Venus but there is something that that you're holding on uh, it's important that you find a balance within yourself that you and I feel that you're going to find that by caring that just taking it more care for your health speci specifically and health is the main thing is what you eat, your diet, and, you know, things of that nature, your mental health also, are you taking enough time away from work to unwind, and really, you know, that also comes to play, even if you, you know, you feel you don't work enough, do you organize your time enough so you could enjoy as much, so there's something, there's a balance in your day-to-day -day routine, um, that should be the focus that the universe wants you to focus on because anything else, your decision won't change. And ultimately, it's your decision. You have much more power than you think, especially if you are willing and, and you have no restriction in waiting next month before you make a major move or you, you just focus. Because you, you may have many options, many things that you see. Since you're closing doors, right? That means that more doors are opening. And there will be lots of that. You know, you're going to get help on top of that. And you will know where to go to get what you need. It's going to be a little bit easy now. So this is going to give you a little to a little thing to get busy on. And it's going to take a lot of your time. You should be focusing on that, which is ultimately caring for yourself. Because you need to be happy. My Libras need to love their house. Their house needs to be exactly what they want. How they like it. They need to 
give themselves all this little pleasure like don't cut on those things those things are necessary especially during that time but uh, it will be a great end of the month I'm very curious to see what the month of November has in store for you my Libras I'm going to end this reading here let me know how this resonated with you give me comments until next time send you lots of kisses I love you